Hi, my name's Kira from Kira's Home Yoga. This is Yoga for Big Feelings. Big feelings like anger, sadness, fear, disgust, frustration, and any others you may be feeling. They're all suitable for this class. So we'll incorporate the RAIN technique today. The R stands for recognize the emotion. So we'll simply name the emotion to ourselves right now. A is allow it to be there. And we'll do that by bringing our attention to our breath and into our body throughout our practice. I investigate non-judgmentally after the emotion has passed. Now isn't the time for that. Maybe we'll do that after a class or tomorrow or next week or next year. But now we're going to concentrate on allowing the emotion to be there and the N, which is nourish yourselves. And we're going to nourish yourselves with gentle movement and deep abdominal breathing. Personally, I find the energy from big feelings quite draining. So this is going to be a gentle practice where we concentrate on deep abdominal breathing. It's a deep breathing, breathing into our belly, that discharge the energy from our big feelings. So that's what we're going to do today. Breathe deeply into our belly, not chest breathing. So we're feeling our belly expand and deflate on every breath. So let's get started. We will start sitting on our mat and you can sit in a cushion if that's more comfortable. We'll inhale, arms up, look up. Long, slow exhale, exhaling our arms all the way down. And again, we'll do this a few times, moving with our breath. and release. We'll do a side stretch now. You can stay up in your cushions or you can move them to your side, whatever works for you. We'll inhale, our left arm up, exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, flow to the other side. Exhale, feel into the stretch. We'll move like this, making it a moving meditation, moving with our breath, feeling into the stretch and concentrating on breathing deeply. Long, slow inhales into our belly and long, slow exhales. One more time. Last one. And release. We'll do some cat cows now from a seated position. So our soles are flat on our mat and we're holding on to our knees. We'll inhale, look up, chest open, shoulders back and down. Exhale, we curve into our spine bringing our chin to our chest and our na squeezing our navel to our spine. And we'll continue like this, moving with our breath, breathing deeply and evenly through our nose with every breath. One more time. And release. We we'll cross our legs in front of us and we we'll come over to tabletop. In our tabletop, we we'll bring our elbows exactly where our hands were. 
and we'll walk our knees back an inch or two to come into puppy pose. In puppy pose, we're drawing our tailbone to the spine, our tailbone to the ceiling, and our chest towards our thighs while breathing deeply. Long, slow inhales and long, slow exhales. We're focusing our attention on our breath. If we get caught up in thought, we turn our focus to our breath every time. Inhale, we come back to tabletop and we lower down to come onto our bellies. We bring our hands under our shoulders with our shoulders back and down. We'll inhale, come up to cobra. Exhale, down. And we'll repeat this a few more times, breathing deeply. Our elbows are tucked into our body and our shoulders remain down throughout. And release. We we'll come back up to tabletop with our hands under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. We'll inhale and reach our right arm up. Exhale, we'll thread the needle and bring our right hand arm under our left hand for a twist. We can come up onto our left fingertips here with your hand in front of your face or your hand um, at the top of your mat. Breathing deeply. Check in with your jaw now and make sure you're not holding any tension there. On our next inhale, we'll push ourselves up to tabletop and we'll repeat the same on the other side. Inhale, reach up with our left hand. Exhale, thread the needle. Coming up onto our right fingertips and pushing into this hand to increase the twist. We can bring this hand to the top of our mat or leave it in front of our face, whatever works for you. Our right hip can sneak up this direction, so we'll make sure that our right hip remains over our right knee here and breathe deeply like we did in our first stretches. And we'll push ourselves back up to tabletop. We'll bring our bum to our heels. Open our knees wide. This is similar to puppy pose in that we're drawing our chest towards our mat while breathing deeply. If we get caught up in thought, we turn our focus to our breath every time. We come back up to tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We'll tuck our toes and we'll come up to down dog. Raising our hips up to the ceiling. We'll bend our knees here and draw our tailbone to the ceiling. And drawing, while drawing our chest towards our thighs. 
We can walk our feet out now if that feels good. Uh, before coming to stillness. In this pose, our heels are reaching to the floor, but they don't have to touch it. It's more important here that our tailbone is reaching to the ceiling. On our next inhale, we lower our knees to our mat. We cross our feet behind us and come to sit on our mat with our legs extended. We'll bring our sole of our right foot into our left inner thigh and we will um, move our body so that it's perpendicular to our mat. We'll inhale, our left leg is extended, so we'll inhale our left arm up and we'll fold towards our left leg, bringing our hand to rest on our thigh, our shin, you can hold on to the big toes, or if it feels good, you can rest it on the inside of our left leg. With our top shoulder, we'll bring it back and down and we'll ex extend this arm, reaching through our fingertips and breathe deeply here. We're letting our head hang freely while breathing deeply. Inhale, come back up and we'll switch out our legs. Extending our right leg, bring your left foot to the in our inner thigh, our upper body perpendicular to our mat. Inhale, our right arm up and exhale, fold forward to wherever feels good for you. Our top shoulder is back and down and we're reaching through our fingertips, letting our head hang freely. Here we'll breathe deeply, concentrating on our breath. If we get caught up in thought, we'll just name the emotion and return our focus to our breath every time. We might have to do this for every deep breath. That's okay. We'll just keep doing it over and over again. Breathing deeply. And release. We'll extend our feet on our mat now. And we will inhale, both arms up. Exhale, we come forward for a forward fold. We can have a bend in our knees here. And we'll come to whatever position feels good for you. Lengthening through our crown of our head, through every breath. Breathing deeply. If it feels good, you can rest your forearms on your mat. It's more important here, not how far we're coming forward, but lengthening out of our spine. And of course, shoulders back and down chest open and breathing deeply. See if we can feel our belly pushing into our thighs on every inhalation with our belly filling up with air. and consciously elongating the exhalations to slow down our breathing. We'll inhale, come back to centre, and we'll come to lying down on our mat. We'll hug our knees into our chest now, and rock from side to side if that feels good. Breathing deeply. 
We'll extend our left leg, flex our ankle and ground into that left leg. Um, we'll move our right knee up to our right armpit now. Breathing deeply. You can move the location of your knee around just till you find a spot that feels good for you. In front of your chest or to your armpit. Whatever works for you. And release. We'll switch out our legs, bringing our left leg into her chest, knee into her chest, and grounding through her light, right leg. Breathing deeply. Our shoulders are back and down. We're focusing our attention on our breath. If we get caught up in thought, we name the emotion and return our focus to our breath every time. And release. We'll bring our right hand to our left knee now and we'll twist to the right, keeping our left shoulder on our mat and looking towards our left outstretched hand while breathing deeply. The deeper we breathe, the more benefit we get from our stretches and also the more energy we get after our practice. Back to centre and we'll repeat the same on the other side, bringing our right knee into our chest and twisting to the left, extending our right arm, right shoulder down on our mat and looking to her right outstretched hand while breathing deeply. And back to centre. We'll bring both feet back to our mat now and we'll extend our right foot into the air. We'll hold on to the back of our thigh or the back of your, yeah, the back of your thigh or the back of your calf, whatever feels good. If this isn't available, you can have a slight bend in your knee and hold on to your, the back of your calf or alternatively, you can use a towel or a strap and wrap it around your foot. We breathe deeply here. We can extend our left leg if that feels good for you. Our shoulders are back and down and we're breathing deeply. And release, bringing the sole of our right foot to our mat. And we'll extend our left leg in the air, holding on to the back of our thigh for a hamstring stretch, or we can hold on to the back of our thaw, calf for a deeper stretch. Again, you can have a bend in your knee here. You still get all the benefits of a nice hamstring stretch, or you can use a strap, whatever works for you. Extending your right leg if that feels good, or leaving it bent, whatever works for you. It's more important here, it doesn't matter what the pose looks like, it's more important to breathe deeply. The 
feeling our belly rise and fall slowly for every breath. And release. We'll bring our feet back to our mat now and we'll cross our left angle, ankle over our right knee and bring our right knee into our chest, holding on to the back of our thigh for a hip stretch. So we'll feel the air, feel our breath coming in to our left hip and back out. Breathing deeply into her belly, through her nose, with every breath. Consciously elongating her exhales. And making sure that we're breathing into her belly on her inhales. And release, other side, bringing our right ankle to our left knee and knee into her chest, holding on to the back of her thigh. Our left foot can remain relaxed on the back of her thigh, or we can flex her foot and hold it parallel to our mat. Remembering to breathe deeply. Long, slow inhales and long, slow exhales. And release. We'll bring our feet to our mat and roll over to one side before pushing ourselves up to sitting. The rain technique we did today can be done at the start of any yoga class. It's just important that we recognize and name the emotion to ourselves before starting. If you enjoyed this class and the gentle movement, you might like my gentle everyday yoga series available on my channel at Kira's Home Yoga. Please consider subscribing. Namaste.